guys, how are you? Today I'm really excited because summer's coming and I love when cosmetics brands come out with their summer range. That's probably the palette that I look forward to more than any other one throughout the different seasons. I, you know, fall's okay, but summer, I love summer colors because that's the, the time that I feel like I can be really bright and kind of break out of the box and, and wear colors that I probably wouldn't wear during more of the, the gloomy winter seasons. And you know, I love like the, the blues and the greens and that, so I love it when summer comes and I have a chance to be a lot more adventurous. And the uh, range I'm going to be talking about is NARS's, of course, summer 2011 range. So I thought I would start off with, um, let's do the eye stuff first. All of the eye products are limited editions that I'm talking about. So if you, once they run out, they're probably going to be gone. So if you like them, you should snag them straight away. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Exotic Dance, and this is what the palette looks like. It's very, very... Um, kind of natural. I, I would use this more as more like a highlighting powder. powder. Um, it's got a really beautiful white shimmer one and then more of like a gold. And this one's just really, really beautiful. I, I've been wearing this when I don't want, you know, too much of a crazy look. I just want to look really, you know, summery and everything. And then I just highlight the, the upper part of my lid with the white and then do the gold. But you can use this color, you know, singularly or, or top them or do whatever you want with them as course you can with any eyeshadow but this one's really really just kind of a natural shimmery look which I love um, so that is called exotic dance really pretty and then the other one I actually have on right now I've got a few of the the summer products on right now and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right it's called dogun dogun <laughs> I don't know how to say it Um, but I really like this one, and this one's probably, you know, this would be great for more like a nighttime look, but I have it on now. I'll give you guys a little... I have to get closer. Ooh! <laughs> there it is. It's really pretty. Um, and this has like an iridescent, almost has a kind of a green tinge to it on this side. And then this is like a blacky gray kind of on this side. But this would be a great one for a night eyeshadow or more of a dramatic look. It's really, really pretty. So that's there. And then this is the one, this is my favorite one. When I was looking at the, um, the NARS website, just waiting for these to come out, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to try this one. And it's the, um, because it's turquoise, it's, it's pronounced Cap, Cap Ferrat, Cap Ferra. Uh, somewhere in France, so that's, I'm probably not pronouncing it right at all. But this is a trio eyeshadow. I love this one, and I was so excited because I've got a Chanel um, little singular eyeshadow that I got years ago, which I, I just love. It's my perfect, like, kind of summer. It, it's like the color of the Caribbean Sea. It's so beautiful, and it's almost running out. So this this one kind of takes the place of it because it's really similar to this here, kind of like a an icy green. So it's great. So you've got basically the um, like a really more iridescent shade of green here. Then it goes more into your turquoise and then into your kind of corally blue. So you've got a few different shades to play around with and do different variations um, on your eyes. And I just, I really, really love this one. I'm going to put a, a swatch up for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the skin. But I can't wait for um, that really warm, sunny summer day when I can rock this. Because these are the colors. This, this palette is basically the colors that I look forward to more than anything to wearing in the summer. So he read my mind. And thank you so much for coming out with something like this. So that is the Cap Ferra. Maybe it's Cap Ferra. Okay. Um, so those are limited editions. And then he also came out with another glitter pencil. And this is called Queen. So it's like an icy, an icy green. This one's pretty. It really distributes a lot of sparkle. Um, I was wearing this this yesterday on top of my eyeshadow, and when I was trying to take my my eyeshadow off at night, I thought I got it all, and then I was like, oh, there's another glitter here, another glitter here. So sometimes it's really hard to get rid of the glitter. You're like you use it, you're glittery 24/7. Or I'll like find it in a weird spot, like near my mouth or something. So, but it is really pretty. I did notice um, with this one, I have another of the. Um, 
soft touch shadow pencils, uh, this Dan Dance Taria, which I really love. It's like this kind of light pinky nude one. And I noticed that when I when I use when I use that one, it actually um, it's not just sparkle that I'm putting on. It's actually like a color that comes on. Whereas this one, I'm noticing it's more just distributing like the green kind of sparkle everywhere, not necessarily a, a line of color. Um, I'll show you guys on here. Like I was pushing down really hard on it and it really, this this one, it, it's really just glitter that's coming off. It's really pretty, um, but I did notice a difference between the other, the Dance Taria one and this one, that when I put the Dance Taria one on, like color other than the glitter was actually coming on as well. camera can pick that up. But it's really pretty. This would be great for a highlighter in the inner corner of your, corners of your eye or I was putting it like down below here. Um, my husband actually commented that he thought it looked pretty. So it, it's, it's, it's pretty. At first I was like, I don't know about the green, but it's really just a greenish gold um, speckle of, of glitter that, that comes out. So it is. It's a pretty color. So that's that one. Um, that's a limited edition too. Um, and then let's go to the nail polishes. So they came out with two nail polishes in the range. One, this first one is a white base nail polish. It's called Ek Ekume. Um, it's just, just white. There's not really any glitter in it. I had a hard time applying this. I think that my hardest nail polishes to actually apply are um, white and reds. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was the consistency of this one, but I had a little bit of a hard time making it look kind of even. But it's just a pretty, you know, it's a, it's a white nail polish. I'll put the picture up for you guys to see what it looks like on, on my hands. But, yeah, this is great for summer, the white, especially with the tan. So that's that one. And then the other one is called Kismet. I love that name. Um, so that's that there. This one, I, I like gold. This is like a sunflowery, um, almost a brass kind of gold tone. Um, probably not my personal favorite. I, I like kind of the, the, the true, um, more gold. Yeah, it's definitely more of a, a brassy or sunflower shade. So if you like that shade, you can't go wrong with this one. It's, it's quite pretty. Yeah, like if you compare, like my ring here is gold, so that's probably the type of gold shade that I typically normally wear. And then if you hold up this type of gold to it, you can just see the, the difference kind of there. Just a different shade, but it's pretty. So that was the yeah, Akismet and Ekume, and those are limited edition nail polishes as well from the range. Um, and then next, I love my, my lipsticks and lip glosses. This one I'm really in love with. This is their lip gloss. This is called Wonder. And this one is remaining in the collection. This is a great kind of blood orange, um, tangerine type uh, color. It's really pretty. It's got little uh, glitter flecks in it as well, so it can be worn on its own. Or you can layer it over a lipstick and it'll look fantabulous. But um, yeah, this one's really, really pretty. I definitely like this one. Beautiful! Okay, so that's the Wonder Lip Gloss, and then he came out with two different lipsticks, and one of them I have on now, it's the Mayflower. <laughs> that's here. This one's really pretty. It's um, fairly natural as well. It's kind of like a sheer raspberry color, and it's got a little bit of sparkle in it as well. This applies beautifully. It's not drawing on the lips. I kind of when I when I first got it out, I was like, oh, this is like um, similar to Dolce Vita, but Dolce Vita is a little bit more plum. This is more um, more raspberry, so it's a little bit lighter, but super pretty. So that's Mayflower, and then I. And then I really love this one. This is a pure matte lipstick. It's called Carthage. And it's another hot pink shade, which rocks. I love this. It's very similar, or at least I thought it was similar to NARS's Shiap. Um, it's the same kind of tone. I'll swatch it for you here so you can see what it looks like. So that's Carthage. So that's Carth Carthage at the top, and then Shiap at the bottom. So Shiap probably looks a little bit more... Um, purpley tone when you compare it. A bit more purple in there. But they're both really pretty. And the Carthage one goes on really, really easy. Um, I was, I, I 
hope that he comes out with an actual lip liner for Shiop or this Carthage. Because I, I was in the department store the other day um, when I had bought Shiop and um, and I wanted a lip liner so bad because I have a my top lip's a little bit smaller than my bottom one and it's not super defined. And if I'm gonna wear a um, you know like a brighter lipstick, then I really kind of need to try to use a lip liner and this lady was helping me out god bless her she was like running all around she's like no we're gonna find a lip liner that will match it perfectly and we couldn't find one she went to a whole bunch of different ranges and was trying to bring ones back and they were they weren't like the exact shade they look more purpley so it was like my my lips when i would line my lips with the purple and then put the shop on underneath it just looked really weird and um she was like, I think you're going to have to go to Wet n Wild or one of those cheaper brands and try to find just a hot pink lip liner. And um, I thought I saw one. I was on L'Oreal's website, and I thought they had one there, but then I couldn't find it anywhere to actually purchase. So, um, yeah, if anyone knows of any um, lip liners, doesn't matter what brand that they think will match Shiop, can you please let me know or give me, um, yeah, some hints because I'm having a hard time finding it and I really, really want one. So that was, um, yeah, that was Carthage and Mayflower and the Wonder Lip Gloss. Um, so that's pretty much the range. There, there are two more products which I did not get and one of them is a blush which is called New Order and I'll put a picture up right, right here so you guys can see what it looks like. It's really pretty in the pa in the palette. It looks kind of a, like a lavender tone, and then when you put it on, it, it doesn't look it doesn't look purpley on you. It really looks kind of a, like a soft pink. The only thing is is that it is really really glittery. So it's kind of similar to Super Orgasm if you, if you guys have that, and I kind of prefer Orgasm to Super Orgasm. It'd be great if you wanted to use it more as a highlighter, or if you're going out in the evening, or if you just love glitter. But for me, it was just a little bit too glittery, so I, I opted out of that one. And and then um, the other, what's the other product that I'm missing? Oh my God, what is it? There's one more. Oh, Bolero, Bolero um, Matte Lip Pencil. This one was really pretty. It's kind of uh, like a tangerine pink. Um, and when I was putting it on me, it just kind of, I felt like it washed my lips out a little bit too much or, you know, you have to be in the right mood to try on cosmetics and just the lighting in the department store wasn't doing it for me and my um, lips have been really dry. So when I was putting it on, all I could see when I looked in the mirror was like just the skin on my lips looking kind of cracked with it. So I think I, I definitely would have needed to put like a lip gloss or something over it, but just running it, like doing a swatch on my skin, I absolutely loved the color of it. So I'm hoping when I go back and I'm in a like better mood to, to try it on, then, then I'll have it work. But it was really, really pretty. That Bolero um, matte lip pencil was a gorgeous color. So um, yeah, that is the full NARS Summer range. Um, it's really beautiful. You guys should go to go um, check it out online, NARS.com or uh, in your department store. Definitely like, so if I were to say my my favorite products of the range, it would definitely be um, the Cat, Cap Fra eyeshadow trio here. I think this is a, a not to miss item for summer. This will look really, really beautiful. Um, and then, what was my other one? And then the Carthage uh, Pure Matte Lipstick. I love this. I'm, you know, slowly venturing out into more daring lip co lip colors besides just doing lip glosses. And I really like this hot pink stuff. And I want to try to find a really great kind of orangey uh, shade one that, uh, that will look good as well. So those two are probably my favorite of the entire range if I had to to pick two, but I, I'm an eyeshadow girl as well, and I really, I, I really liked the eyeshadows from this collection. They're really beautiful, and um, you've got one to wear more during the day, and and one to wear at night. So a whole bunch of different variations on there. But it's always about what suits you, what colors you guys like. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.